I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Praxis. I'm starting this video indoors because it's kind of windy outside and it might be a little difficult to hear me. What I wanted to talk about in this video is how to clear off your roof of snow if you have solar panels on it. It's really not that big of a deal. Yesterday I did a video about how sometimes solar panels just ice up with uh, you know snow and ice and uh, you know it's a bit of a problem because you, know, you can't get uh, sun through the snow and the ice. Uh, and I think that that gave people a, a sense that that's like a major issue and it's really, really not. It almost never comes up. Uh, you know, I've been here for years and maybe once or twice is the only times this has ever, you know, been a thing. But it does occasionally happen, so you need to have a backup plan for it. And that's what the video that I made yesterday was all about, is, you know, sometimes things happen and you need to have a backup plan on it. And if you don't understand that sometimes something bad happens, you won't have that backup plan and then you're going to be kind of like up SHIT's creek if, you know, that ends up happening to you. But it's really not that big of a deal. Just because something can happen doesn't mean that it's like a major problem. So let's go outside and I want to show you what I do to clear off my panels when, uh, you know, conditions are, you know, what they normally are. Uh, let's just look at what conditions are like at, uh, right here at the moment. Uh, we got a little bit of snow today. I'm waiting for the sun to come out. As soon as we can get some sun out, these panels are going to melt right off. You can see up in the sky here, we have some patches of blue up there, and it's occasionally going in front of the sun. We're getting a little taste of the sun, but nothing major at this point. It's mostly just uh, you know, cold and icy. And uh, this is what uh, our ladder looks like. You can get a sense of uh, you know what we got going on here. You know, all the ladder steps are all completely covered in ice. There's uh, icicles dripping down all underneath here, and there's a really good uh, sense of uh, the level of ice we have here. Hey, chipmunk. That's chipmunk. She likes being outside in the snow a little bit more than some of the other chickens. Let's uh, just adjust the camera here, give you a sense of uh, what the chicken coop looks like. The whole top surface here is all covered in this, this like glaze of ice underneath. It's like this uh, like ice palace underneath. It's really neat looking. It's really beautiful. Hey, we got that hole in the cloud just opened up. We're getting a little bit of sun and there it goes away. <laughs> and that's kind of what it's been like, uh, you know, most of the day today. So let's, uh, let's look at what our situation is on, uh, on our icy, uh, icy roofs here. Just going up this little hill here is a little bit of a, a trick. I'll, I'll get a little video of going up the hill. If you ever want to go up an icy hill, you don't just want to walk up straight. What you want to do is uh, take your feet and put them in an, a bit of an angle and walk up kind of sideways here. You're jamming in uh, the uphill edge of your of your boot. I'm just going to go up sideways. So the left outside edge of my left boot, and now the inside edge of my right boot, just going up like that, just jamming the edge of your boot in as you go up. So always the uphill edge gets shot into the snow. You make little steps for yourself. All right. So here's some roof I can get to because I'm not going to go up that ladder to show you what the uh, actual roof of the house is like. We can see this roof here. I was kind of banging it at it earlier. This is what we got going on here is, is this stuff where there's like an ice layer at the bottom and I'm kind of scraping some of that off. You know, it, it, you can get it off, but it's not the kind of thing that a roof rake can get at really easily. And that's what I usually like to do is I take a roof rake and I go up the roof and I just pull the stuff down. And you can see what a roof rake can do on this. It's not going to do much. You know, if I'm standing right in front of it, yeah, I can get the stuff off, but it's not going to come off very easily. Until, until we get that sun. And you can see there's some more blue sky up there. This is where, uh, well, this is uh, west. This is where our, our uh, the predominant uh, direction of wind that we tend to get here in New England tends to be from uh, the west. Today it was coming from the northwest. So this is where I always look to see what kind of weather we have coming. You, know, you could look at a like, weather app on your phone, or you could just look to the northwest. And I can see some blue skies up there. So I think we're going to be getting some clearing today, and we got a good sh shot at um, you know getting some of that stuff melted off. But uh, you know, in the meantime, it's still just really, really frozen on like this. But again, this is a really, really um, 
uh, uncommon uh, situation. Now there are things that I could do. If something like this was going to happen all the time, there are certainly things that I could do to try to make it so that um, you know we could uh, you know sort of force the solar panels to uh, thaw. I'm going to do that little sideways walk it's down here again, so I don't just slide right down the hill. Uh, you know, some things that we could do is we could put, uh, you know, uh, thermal electric wires up there, uh, like, you know, some people call it like heat tape, and, um, you know, we could run electricity through that, maybe have like just like one that goes uh, like on the bottom side of each panel. I think that wouldn't be a bad thing to have uh, installed into solar panels, just like one strip right down the middle, because if you could create one little line of melt in the middle, it opens up the panel, so you start to see a little bit of dark. The sun warms up that little dark section of panel, and then it kind of feathers out from there. You could also use water. Uh, the water that comes out of the ground is uh, 50 degrees, and uh, as long as it's not super cold out, and that's the, that's the situation, is normally when you have an ice storm, it's not super cold out because that's the whole reason that it was ice in the first place. When it's really, really cold and then precipitation comes down, it's usually kind of, uh, you know, fluffy sort of snow. But uh, you tend to get this ice when you're right around that kind of freezing point because the stuff's coming down wet and then it freezes down. Uh, so normally when you have this kind of situation, the temperatures aren't super, super cold. So if you had some water and we had uh, water running down over the, uh, you know, just a, like a little stream down across each solar panel, that would again, it would open up that little dark area and then the sun would continue to do the rest of the work. And we're seeing some more blue skies up over there. I don't know if you can see those on camera. We are, we are having the sky start to open up here. Okay, the sun's been out for just about an hour, about an hour and a half, and the roof has already started to clear off. And I figure, why not show you the process of getting the thing cleared off? You can see on the corner, I pulled a little bit down. I, did, I took my roof rake uh, without all the extensions and just went up and started clawing at it. Before I did that, I broke all the, light, the ice off the ladder. I used a little hammer to chip the ice off of the step so it's safe. So I'm going to go up with a full uh, roof rake and you can see me clean the thing up and I'll probably speed it up to make it a little bit more palatable to watch. But you can see it's not that big of a process. Although walking over the icy garden I might slip and fall. You can probably notice as I'm going, I'm not bothering to clear off the entire surface of the panel because once you get it basically cleared off, the sun is going to melt off all the rest of it. I know a couple of people have talked about putting certain chemicals and things, sprays on their solar panels to try to get clear it off. because uh, you know just the, the sunlight does the same thing so um, you know, I, 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 maybe the chemicals speed it up maybe just by virtue of the fact that they darken the things up if you darken the snow up at all it's going to melt faster but I, the way I find it is whenever you have sun to land on your solar panels there's probably enough sun to just melt off all the snow anyway so you can see I'm doing a bit of a sloppy job also you notice when I did the first run I had the stuff kind of coming down and hitting me a little bit but after that I'm always working off to the side so I don't have the stuff sliding down and hitting me in the chest. So I'm going to zoom in a little closer on the last section while I finish that up and you can see with a little bit uh, closer view how the process how the process goes and we'll finish up with this. Hope you Now you'll notice while I'm doing this section all the way off to the left here, the snow is not really sliding off like it did the rest of the roof. I'm assuming that the reason for that is because uh, those panels were at different temperature when the snow fell or they got hit with a little bit more morning sun or something like that and the snow melted and refroze and melt, melted and refroze uh, you know, a few more times or, or something like that. But um, uh, 
at this point, I'm not really worried about it and I'm not gonna bother really trying to scrape that down because you can, as you can see, as I'm getting that outer layer of snow off of it, it makes the, the panels much darker and the sun is gonna have no trouble melting off what remains there. Now, I could run back up the ladder in maybe like 20 minutes or something like that and I bet that stuff will strip off really, really easily or I can just wait a couple of hours and I'm sure it'll all just melt off all on its own. Hey YouTube preppers, if you enjoyed this video about how to have your solar panels survive a winter storm, I think you're going to like this video that's about how you can survive a winter storm wearing only, essentially, beach clothes.